Hey guys, I hope you had a really great weekend. So last week we had two really big things happen. We both got above this downtrend, which is off of all-time highs and the highs of the year, but we also made new highs of the year on Friday. So we did start right here. This is Monday, and this red line going right through the middle, that is that downtrend I just pointed out. So on Monday, we actually opened below the downtrend, and then we came up a couple times, tested it, and then right here, Monday, we did get above and then pushed right back down, and then tried one more time at the end of the day and got rejected. So then going into Tuesday, we opened with a gap down, and then right here at four, the 453 level, we did catch support, and that was from the gap that was still left open from, this was Tuesday going into Wednesday of Thanksgiving week. So that gap right there uh, held as support. We bounced off of that and got above the uptrend, I'm sorry, above the downtrend, and then got pushed back down. And then into close, we kind of moved upwards and still closed underneath it. Then on Wednesday, we had a huge gap up. We gapped up to the very top of the implied move. Then right here, there was also the rest of the US credit rating down gap. And as soon as that gap got filled, we got pushed back down to the downtrend line, bounced off of it, and then closed under it. So we did close right here on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we opened above that downtrend, had a really choppy start to the day, got pushed down to the same level that we saw support on Monday. Sorry, this was Tuesday. And from there, we actually came right back up to the downtrend line, got pushed back, and then this was that Thursday where we had that big move into close, and that was the first time that we closed above that downtrend. And then on Friday, we opened with a gap down and then filled that gap immediately and then came back down, used this five minute 200 moving average as support. And then we came all the way up. This is actually where Powell spoke right here and the market liked what he had to say and we pushed up and we made new highs of the year. So the old highs were 459.44. We got up to 459.65, so 21 cents higher. And then from there we got pushed down and then we did close just underneath the new highs of the year. And Friday we did close up 0.59%. VIX came down 2.25% and we did trade completely within the implied move. All right, let's go check out tomorrow's levels. So tomorrow's implied move is between 456 and 462, and that is from options and the 30-day average volatility is still pretty disconnected and much wider. It's 450 to 467. And to the upside, the very first level to look for is the new highs of the year that we made on Friday. That is at 259.65. And if we can push above that level, we do have one last down gap on the chart. And that goes back to January of 22. After that second week, we had a gap down, and then the market sold off after that, and when it came back up, that open gap smacked the market down, almost down to the 200-week moving average. And then we saw a 17% rally before actually hitting and bouncing off the 200-week moving average. So that level was a big one, and it is right outside of the implied move. And I'll zoom back in in just a second, but while we're on this big time frame, if we get above that level, there's nothing left except for all-time highs. So important gap for the bears. And then let me get back in here. So that is the upside of the trading range. And then to the downside, the first level is the bottom of the implied move. 
And believe it or not, the implied move is a level within the day of that contract. So 456 to the downside. And we did actually see going back a little bit, we saw a resistance there, right there, right there. So 456 has been a previous resistance. And then underneath that, we have that downtrend that we did work so hard for two weeks to get above. Friday, we finally, Thursday, we closed above it. And then Friday, we did see a continuation. Important level just outside of the implied move to the downside. And then underneath that, we have that 453, which was that gap from not last Tuesday, but the one before that, the one before Thanksgiving. Tuesday going into Wednesday, we opened a gap and that level held as support. So 453 should definitely be on your chart to the downside. And then at the very bottom, we have the 30 minute 200 moving average finally coming into the range. That is a level that we gapped over in January of, not January, what am I saying? Um, the first day of November right here. And that was, uh, I believe, one day after FOMC uh, in November. November 2nd, we gapped up the, above the 30 minute 200 and we have not touched down since then. So that is at the very bottom of tomorrow's trading range. So there you have it. I will have this chart out on TradingView in just a few minutes and then I will have that link in the first comment if you want something to click around on and have fun trade safe make sure you take profits when you're up and i will see you guys tomorrow night